you're watching Trending SA on SABC3 and online or on TrendingSA.tv. Do not forget, tonight's MCM is rapper Shane Eagle. Oh, yes. Right here. So post any of your questions that you have for him. Tag at SABC3 and hashtag Tsa on 3. And we may just ask your questions to Shane Eagle himself. Now, Musa has been trolling the social media streets looking for things to tell you. So, Musa, what you got? Thank you, Madam Comrade, for that one. Uh, checking out some of your tweets, of course, to hear what you have to say. Here is the first one from Picasso saying, Trading Estates are on three. Mama, they are here. They're magnificent. Four, the School of Excellence. They are here. Yeah, yeah, Mama. Ish, here saying that. Tsa on three, proudly watching favorite lit show in Mzanzi, rocking team on earth. Credit to the guys doing the dirty work. Oh, media crew. Is it you? You guys? Are you guys doing the thing? You're just the screaming because they said dirty and you like that word. <laughs> And the people that are controlling what you are seeing on the screen are also screaming in my ear, so don't oh, worry. We love All you right. guys. And the last one from oh, Mr. Joe saying, Mampenja oh, featuring himself on every babe song is an abuse on its own. We've always seen it. Sound 3 trending SA. And on that note, thank you very much for sending us your posts, retweets, and all of that. We like hearing from you. Now, before the ad break, we had a look at what happened last week, Friday, with regards to the Babes Mampincha, as well as the Metro on Drive situation. And right now, I'm going to continue with the story because today the events unfolded. Babes and Mampincha, of course, uh, is the main issue. And here's a video you need to see. <laughs> Now, if you didn't know, Babes and Mum Pincha's romantic relationship has been the topic of the town since allegations of abuse surfaced about Mum Pincha when Babes Wotomo spoke to Mas Chaba and Mo Flavor on Metro FM last week, Friday. Today, Mum Pincha was invited to the afternoon drive to give his side of the story. However, the anticipated interview left many listeners confused as Mum Pincha was determined to evade all the questions that he was asked. When he did answer, he gave lengthy, windy answers that painted him very much like a victim and left him blaming third parties about the cause of Babes defaming his name. When it comes to the question, did you or did you not physically abuse Babes Oduma, Mam Pencha couldn't give a straight answer. If you didn't hear it, take a listen. Babes Oduma said in the interview that she's scared. Now, we, we're not going to apologize about asking the question around whether or not the, 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 the rumors of abuse are true. It is, it is an important question for us to ask you. Yeah, and Wow. Our relationship dynamics are known to me and babes alone. Then came the part where Mampincha was given, or rather asked, when last he saw babes. Once again, uh, Mampincha played the dodging game. Okay, um, when last did you speak to babes or even see her or be in her presence? <sighs> Now, listeners obviously were not convinced with that, and then they took the conversation to Twitter to express their views about the interview that Mampincha gave today. And here's what they said. Norm Clear here saying, Mampincha has a problem and he is in denial. He needs help ASAP. Mm. Hashtag the drive on Metro. Hashtag Metro FM. And another tweet, of course, another one came through from SimG saying, Mampincha's answers don't make sense though. Or am I listening to the wrong interview? Hashtag the driver Metro. And then, of course, another one from Rabbit who's saying, the driver Metro, I thought Mampincha will be humble and admit that he indeed abused the base, but clearly Ufuna Ogutandazi so Oguze are answering Ama questions. Basically saying he wants us to pray for him so he can answer these questions. It's pretty clear that Mapincha is in denial about his alleged trans uh, transgressions and wrongdoings and is not willing to publicly apologize to Babes. And of course Babes now allegedly has security around her at all times. Good. Moving on to another hashtag hashtag fun surfaced on my feeds again today because of Judge Sir 
Raj Desai had found Henry uh, van Breda uh, guilty of murdering his mother, father and older brother, as well as guilty of attempted murder of his younger sister. Now, the attack occurred in 2015 at the family's home in Stellenbosch. Mm -hmm. While we wait for sentencing, Van Breda is officially spending his first night at Paltzmoor Prison, but he'll be in the hospital section of the prison because of a medication. Ugh, because of a trust fund. And privilege. Yeah. I mean, I watched part of that thing because it also went on and on and on and on and on. But eventually, I mean, you just got to see how privilege works and mm, how the trust okay. you know the, the never the, ending pockets that's it it works so well when people are defending you to the point where you can't even i mean you you murdered people you've been found guilty of it and you're you're getting special treatment it's sure. actually unbelievable another unbelievable story was this former springbok uh player ashwin Willemse was on everyone's timelines this weekend after this video clip surfaced online take a look I think it's important for me because, you know, I've played this game for a long time. Mm. Like most, like all of us here, I think, you know. And um, as a player, I was labeled a quarter player for a long time. And um, I've earned hard and worked hard to earn my own respect in this game. Mm. So I'm not going to be patronized by two individuals that have played in an apartheid, a segregated era, and come and want to undermine, you know. And so I think, I think for me, I've had, I've had my fair share. I can't work with people that undermine other people and you know you can sit and you can laugh about it but, about but you know that what happened thing. it's fine it's fine i don't mind being ridiculous i'm glad it happens on air so people can see Ash. because you two sit here no it's fine you Yo. what a guy sure mm -hmm. i've got goosebumps and very calm mm. and you could see there was a point where he was gonna go and you sit here and he went no 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 mm. focus ashwin mm. In the video, we hear Ashwin say the following. I'm not going to be patronized by two individuals who played in apartheid, a segregated era. I cannot work with people who undermine other people. And so the masses online thought that, you know, he was being undermined because of his skin color. And many be uh, people rallied around Ashwin Willemse and his brave stance. Have a look at what you had to say. Bongani Bingwa says, poor Ashwin, it's going to be said that he overreacted. But the truth is, there isn't always explicit evidence when you feel undermined. It's a feeling, a vibe that you get. And then there's the matter of proving it. You have to justify your reaction to it. Mm -hmm. uh, Tariq Trubody saying, lost his cool, stormed off, is how some headlines are terming the Ashwin Willemse incident earlier this evening. He was composed. Mm. He made his point and then calmly mm -hmm. walked off as he stood firm in his protest. The level of composure was just perfect. Team Ashwin for the win. And this one from Marinus. Um, he said... Went for coffee last week with Ashen Willemse. He's not an emotional attention seeker who played the race card. He is professional, smart, and one of the most intelligent and kind guys you'll ever meet. And when you are that, you don't entertain people who belittle you. Yes! But, of course, as the world would have it, not everybody is convinced that Ashwin was right to walk out. Like these two tweeps who had this to say. Tweep number one is Stefan Carlo de Liva. Yeah, I think Ashwin Willemse did it to promote himself, wow. for now he has the support of the majority, <laughs> i.e. blacks, mm. and is heralded as an idol against oppression, gaining support from the public and government, i.e. blacks, to start his new show and push government propaganda with regard to racism in rugby. Wow. wow we have no comment. We have no comment. Uh, Safa Zimbo says, clearly Nick Mallet and Ashwin Willemse don't like each other and that's okay. So why the race card? Oh, oh, wow. yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. So now listen, the heads of multi-choice and super sport were interviewed earlier this evening and after talks with relevant parties, they said that they don't believe that it was a racially motivated incident. Now I want to hear from you guys over here on my panel, <coughs> comrades. Um, what did you think after watching that? The moment you have discussions on quota, it's automatically racial. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. Just from that statement alone. And if people in a room or a table with you say, yeah, no, you're only there because you were a quota player. Whoa. They're saying you're only there because you are black yeah. or you are colored. And it's really just that. And we all know that, like, no one's going to get suspended. Uh, uh, the people that are on that channel that present that sports show, I'm talking about Nas Puerta nice. and Mel, like, 
the, if they go, guess what uh, the people that like them are going to do? They're going to unsubscribe. And of course, the sports channel is not going to have that. Mm. Doesn't mean we must take it, though. No, it absolutely doesn't mean that we must take it. And this is where the economic freedom comes into it, right? So if we're able to own the means of all production, including television stations and satellite uh, stations of our own, then we are able to say what we want to say and hire who we want to hire the way we want to operate. So I, it just... I don't know if we'll see it in our lifetimes, unfortunately, but it is the way that we need to go. Uh, Sports and Recreation Minister Togozile Kwasa has also called for Nas Buerta and Nick Mallet to be suspended and has asked the channel to launch a full investigation. Of course, we'll keep an eye on how the story develops. We're moving on now and wrapping things up here on Trending SA on SABC3. We always want to hear from you, so you let us know what you think on the Ashwin Willemser story and famous walkouts that you have seen across the globe in uh, pop culture. All right, so the hashtag is Tsa on 3 and you can contact us that way. I think when we get back, Shane Eagle's on. Is that correct? Correct. That is correct. Correct. So make sure you come back. Hey, walk it like I talk it. Walk it. Walk it like I talk it. Walk it. Walk it like I talk it. Walk it. Walk it like I talk it. Woo. Walk it like I talk it. Talk it. Walk it like I talk it.